Hey guys, Cruz here. Welcome back to Feed the Beast Crash Landings. Alright, so I've been doing quite a bit of work off camera, um, and I'm going to show you guys that here in a second. But uh, first, what I want to do is I want to kind of go over the, the quest book. Uh, we didn't really touch on it a whole lot in the last episode, and there's a couple quests in here that I need to finish up. <clears throat> and um, these, are the, these are the two quests that I want to focus on today. Uh, they're pretty simple, actually. Uh, one of them... Uh, I just needed a grinder and a reactant dynamo. Now, I've already made the reactant dynamo, but now I need to make the grinder, which is going to be pretty simple. Um, I think I have everything I need to make it. Uh, the other quest is Iceberg, which we need a glacial precipitator, which I think is also pretty easy. Uh, so let's just check the recipe on that real quick. Glacial. Yeah, so this isn't going to be too hard at all. Just a machine frame, piston. We have two snow already, and then... Um, copper ingots and a redstone reception coil so yeah it's not not too not too difficult also another thing in the quest book here under pressure um, we've opened up this which is a new little quest line so if we check that out what that is uh, we need to make this assembly line which is kinda cool because uh, we get to make some robots and stuff and that's awesome and that's actually what I do in real life. Uh, my my actual job is uh, I program robots that kind of look just like this. So yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to this. Um, it's gonna be kind of cool. It's probably a little bit different than what I actually do at my job, but you know, whatever. Same basic idea. And also, it opened up this one, the technological revolution. And it says we have eight percent completed, and I think that's because yeah, because I went ahead and I I made. Um, a machine for a couple machine frames off camera, and I've actually been making some more of these things just to get ready to make, or in case we need more uh, machine frames, you know, I have the I have the parts required for that. So yeah, it's actually fairly easy to do. It's just uh, awfully time consuming. So pretty much what you do is you take a piece of plastic and a compressed iron, and that will give you, and you put it in the uh, pressure chamber here, and that will give you one of these empty PCBs. Now what we do with this guy right here, we gotta put him in there in the UV light box, remember? And we gotta let him fill up, and that takes a really long time. Now with these guys, once they're filled up in the UV box, you just take the empty one, and um, remember, uh, we did this in an earlier episode, uh, you just take it and you throw it in this etching acid right here, and that takes a while. And uh, once that's done, that'll give you the unassembled PCB. Then, after that, in order to make the printed circuits, we need um, the transistors and capacitors which are just redstone, one, one piece of redstone, uh, one compressed iron, uh, and one of these. That'll give you the either the transistor or the capacitor. And then the same thing, but with, I believe, this color plastic. And that'll give you the capacitor, I believe. So yeah, it's, it's fairly simple, pretty easy to do. It's just a little bit, a little bit time consuming, like I said. But uh, things are a lot easier since I installed these uh, this these interfaces now I'm not sure I'm still not sure exactly how to do it or how to how to use it uh, like the most efficient way but um, I found a, a, a routine that kind of works so I've just been doing that and it's been it's been pretty cool um, I've also uh, made some spaghetti and meatballs which is probably the best meal I've made so far that gives you uh, five hunger bars and uh, five uh, oh what is that like saturation but yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I can pretty much eat one of these a day and be good for the rest of the day. So that's pretty awesome. All right, so let's step outside and I'll kind of show you guys what I've been doing. I guess I can leave that open. Um, so first of all, I've been, I've got two essence berry bushes. I've also got some other bushes too. Uh, I've got or iron ore berry and tin ore berry. Um, now how I got those was it was pretty simple. I just took uh, some smooth stone, uh, just some cobblestone that had been smelted. And I just threw a couple stacks in here randomly in the autonomous activator, and that sifted through them, and yeah, it gave us these uh, bushes here, so that's pretty cool. And the aw the awesome thing about the uh, essence berry bushes is uh, I I need those to make um, nether quartz. We can make nether quartz without actually going to the nether, and how we do that is, boom, through this guy here. This is the the high oven, I guess you could call it. Now it's a pretty cool it's a pretty cool thing. Um, what you can do is, first of all, it's just a, I mean, you can you can probably make it bigger than this, but I just did a 3x3 three three structure with a, the hollow block in the center, put the high oven controller here and two drains on the side, and a lever right down here. Uh, it runs on charcoal, which is pretty cool, and <clears throat> what you can do is you can, you know, you can 
put your dust and stuff in here, and I've noticed that dusts give you like three three ingots per dust rather than two. So it's actually more efficient than the smeltery. Now the thing with this is uh, you can't make alloys. None of the metals mix, which is actually kind of handy. Uh, so you could put you know uh, silver and gold in there, and it won't turn into electrum. It'll just be silver and gold. So yeah, it's pretty cool, and it seems to work pretty fast depending upon the type of metal that's in there. So yeah, this is what I've been doing um, off camera. I just built this, and I've been doing a bunch of ore processing and stuff, um, getting a bunch of blocks of whatnot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shut this off because I don't want to waste all this. Now, when you shut this off, the temperature does go down to zero, so you're going to have to wait for it to heat up again before you, uh, before you use it. But that's fine. It's a small price to pay. So here's my chest here with uh, all the gravel and stuff that's being uh, sifted. Uh, as you can see, I've got a bunch of lapis. I've got 19 diamonds, 15 emeralds. i got some coal here and some other stuff. Um, my gravel and sand that my pulverizer is creating. And yeah, I've been going through uh, quite a few ender pearls. I think I've probably gone through about six or seven total. Which, whatever, that's not bad. I'm not concerned about it. Oh yeah, but before I go on, uh, making nether quartz. Now, if we grab the book that goes along with that machine, the steelworking in you... <clears throat> it goes through and it tells you, uh, you know, how to use this thing, how to build it, and and all that kind of cool stuff. But if we go to, okay, over here, uh, we can make steel with uh, just a piece of iron, uh, gunpowder, redstone, and sand. Uh, we can make pig iron. Here's the nether quartz right here. So if we just put sand in there, along with gunpowder, uh, the essence berry stuff, and I'm not sure what that is. Is that... Um, some sort of soil, I believe. Let's actually look at that. Graveyard soil. Okay, so yeah, that's just dirt, rotten flesh, and bone meal, and that'll give you graveyard soil. But anyway, you combine all those in here, and see, here's your sl slots for your uh, modifiers, I, I guess. <clears throat> that will give you nether quartz, I believe, somehow. I haven't done it yet, but, uh, you know, that's a pretty good alternative to uh, going to the nether. Uh, I'm not really sure what to expect from the nether in this pack, but I'm assuming it's it's pretty pretty relentless. <laughs> but um, let's go ahead and toss this book back. Um, let's go ahead and eat some spaghetti and meatballs. All right, delicious. Okay, so let's get started on those quests. Um, oh, yeah, the under pressure. Let's go ahead and... Uh, oops, not that one. Technological revolution. Let's go ahead and finish this one since it's already completed. I just haven't claimed the reward. So what's that going to give us? Um, what that required was a printed circuit board, uh, the PRC LX100 Logic expansion card, and a machine frame. And I, I've already made all of those off camera. So let's go ahead and... Oh, we get to pick one. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll pick the Invar. Why not? And we're also going to get a machine frame, so that's pretty sweet. All right, cool. Got that. Now that opened up a few more quests. Um, let's just take a look at these real quick. Actually, I think these were already open. We got basic machines. Oh, we've already made a pulverizer. Yep. So we need a redstone furnace, energetic infuser, and an auto packager. That shouldn't be too difficult. And then basic AE. Okay, this is kind of what I'm excited about. So I think I might try to start off with this. Now we are going to need nether quartz for it. So, hmm, but that's actually not going to be too hard. The ME chest and then an ME uh, 1K storage drive. But we'll worry about that maybe in a different uh, episode. So let's go back to basic survival because I just want to get these done. Let's go ahead and start with the glacial precipitator. So let's go over here. Where's that snow at? There it is. Um, and we're going to need some... Let, uh, let's see what we're going to need exactly. Glacial. All right, sweet. Glacial precipitator. So we're going to need a piston. So let's go ahead and grab some stone, some cobble. We're going to need a couple planks. Not in there. Here we go. We'll grab that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wait for the sun to go down. Go ahead and sleep through the night. Here in a second. Come on. There we go. Take a drink of my coffee. Ah, delicious. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab some. We're going to need some iron. We'll just grab a little bit of that. Let's see. Redstone... Let's grab some of that. I'm not sure exactly how many we'll need for other projects that we're going to be doing. But, uh, alright, let's go ahead and craft this guy. Oh, we're going to need some gold. 
or a gold at least. So let's go ahead and make that thing first. It's probably going to be the easiest part. And then, all right, we should be able to, there we go. And can we auto? Nope, not yet. So we need to do that. Um, that. Oh, yeah, I don't have any copper. Okay. Gotta go ahead and grab a couple pieces of copper. And there we go. Glacial precipitator. Nice. Now we can make snow and ice and all that kind of cool stuff. <clears throat> all right, so let's go ahead and finish that quest. What do we want? High golem or cold water? Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and choose the high golem. Oh, no, we don't choose those. It just gives us that. Okay, that's cool. Cold water bottles and a high golem. I don't know what a high golem is, but uh, yeah, I'll take it for sure. Wonderful. And that didn't seem to open anything else. Let's go ahead and drop some of this stuff off here. Let's put the glacial precipitator in there. We'll put this, the golem in there. Um, we're out of water. Let's go ahead and... I don't want the, I just want the regular water, not the cold water. I don't think you can put cold water in your camel pack, to be honest. So there's that. Another water bottle. Boom. Alright, so... Fill those back up. Throw those back in there. Okay, so actually, I think uh, off camera, I went ahead and made another autonomous activator too. So now we have, uh, I don't know, I can't remember if I showed you guys that or not. But yeah, now we're, we're making water and we can um, also uh, sift through our, our ores and, or our uh, gravel and get ores and stuff. So now we have both of that semi automated. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and throw this cold water in here. And, all right, let's see what's next. The grinder. Okay, so this shouldn't be too... Oh, you know what, guys? I just realized I'm not even in full screen. I apologize for that. Options, video settings, full screen. <laughs> all right, there we go. Yeah, dang it. Okay, sorry about that, guys. All right. <clears throat> okay. Grinder. All right, beautiful. Okay, this is going to be fairly easy. We just need an invar sword, some plastic sheets, machine frame, tin gears, and another reception coil. So let's go ahead and start doing that. That um, we've got the invar. Let's see what else. Uh, tin gears, which is this iron and tin. We've got iron. There's some tin. Okay, let's go ahead and craft up some of this that we're going to need. Oh, here we go. We can go ahead and make the invar sword. Um, we can make this guy. Go ahead and make those tin gears. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, now we're going to need another machine frame. I don't know if I have one actually pre-made or not. So we might have to... Yeah, we're probably going to have to go ahead and make one. But that's fine because I've got pretty much everything we need to make one. So let's grab one of those. And we're going to need some plastic sheets. Do I have... Yeah, I have 12 of them, so that's fine. And I believe... Let's see if I can do this by heart. Is it like this? There's that. Nice. And then... Okay, there's a slime. <laughs> that's pretty cool. He's They, they spawn from that uh, slime plant that I have growing right there. So yeah, we pretty much have unlimited slime balls now. Let me just go ahead and take these guys out. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> okay, that's always fun. But yeah, once this uh, this plant grows up, it just spawns uh, slimes, which is pretty cool. All right, let me uh, go ahead and put these slime balls away. Yeah, we've got quite a few slime balls already. Um, oh, it actually gave us some slime plant seeds. So let's go ahead and um, set this to plastic. So now it won't eject the materials until it's actually turned into plastic. So if we toss those in there, it'll go ahead and process them and turn them into... Uh, plastic sheets. So, alright, let's check out the this guy. So we're going to need two Electrum, some Invar, and some Glass. Uh, how much Invar do I have? Two. That's not enough. Let's grab a couple more. And then we're going to need some Electrum. Oh, I don't have any Electrum on me. Two, three. Let's just make up a, a little bit <clears throat> of Electrum here. So let's toss that in there. Um, we're going to need the Spout the faucet, I guess. 
Toss that in there. So we'll let that do its thing. Um, what else are we going to need? Glass. I think I have glass already made up. Not in there. Maybe it's in here. Yeah, there we go. So two glass. Okay, so we'll put that there. Put this there. Invar, 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 invar. Now we just need the electrum. Actually, I think that was... Is it four invar and two electrum? Or vice versa? I don't remember. But here we go. Molten electrum. Let's go ahead and do this. Two electrum. Okay. There we go. We'll just leave the rest of it in there for now. No biggie. Okay, two electrum. There we go. There's our machine frame. Nice. Okay, so I think. Oh, can we not uh, auto? Okay, well, Invar sword, machine frame, that guy, these guys, those guys, and these guys right there. Okay, grinder. Nice. Boom. Done. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish that quest. It's going to give us some mob essence, which is cool. Uh, some gunpowder and uh, 16 conveyor belts. Wow, that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and claim that. Nice. And it doesn't look like that opened up anything else in this. So are we done with that? It says 93%. Hmm. But there's no other quests. It says new maps, but nothing else is uh, opened up. 93%. One quest available for completion. Hmm. Well, I don't see it. Oh, well. All right. Oh, now I just opened up this uh, this guy right here. Let's see what's in here. I'm kind of curious. Ah. Uh, okay, so we need mob essence and eggs. Okay, well, yeah, we'll definitely have to be worrying about that later. <laughs> All right, let's go back to, uh, let's see, technological revolution. Okay, basic machines. Hmm. That's uh, this isn't going to be too hard at all. Precision sledgehammer and a tin upgrade. What's that going to give us? Invar. Ooh, it's going to give us one of those guys. Cool. And a rubber bars. Um. Yeah, I think we can go ahead and do this one. So precision sledgehammer. Let's see what that's all about. Oops. Precision sledgehammer. Okay, so that's just uh, two sticks, three plastic sheets. Cake. There we go. Precision sledgehammer. And uh, tin upgrade. <clears throat> upgrade. Quartz. Iron. Tin. Here we go. All right, so that's just three plastic sheets, three tin. I'm gonna need a gold nugget. Already got tin, so let's see, three plastic sheets. Hmm. I keep all the plastic in here now. We'll use this the uh, the creeper seeds since since there's a, I've got a million of them. Okay, so let's go ahead and three plastic sheets. Let's done that tin. There we go. Tin upgrade. All right, that was pretty easy. Claim reward. Okay, did that open up anything else? Well, it, uh, now we have access to this green growing things and using what you got. Okay, so that's we need an auto spawner, auto anvil, auto enchanter. Ah, uh, that's gonna give us ooh an enchanted two enchanted diamond hammers. Ooh, a reusable safari net. Awesome, and a single use safari net. Okay, this is actually. That's actually going to be pretty good. Uh, we don't really need the bottle of enchanting, but... Alright, we have harvester, planter, and a fruit picker. That's actually going to be a good one, too. Uh, it's going to give us some uh, mediocre rewards. Um, okay, well, that was pretty easy. Let's check out this uh, redstone furnace. Those ought to be pretty easy to make. Redstone furnace, here we go. Uh, so machine frame, bricks, copper, reception coil, redstone. Easy peasy. 
Okay, let's go ahead and clear out our inventory, though, real quick. Oops, redstone doesn't go in there anymore. It goes in here. Gunpowder goes up there. Let's go ahead and put the nuggets in here, too. Might as well. Plastic sheets. Precision sledgehammer. Upgrade the PRX thingy. That. Put that in there. Um, put the rubber in there. Put the mob essence in there. Put the invar in there. Uh, looks like it's getting dark again. So, yep, let's go ahead and sleep. Alright, very nice, very nice. <clears throat> okay, so. Redstone furnace. Let's go ahead and make one of those. We're going to need two of these guys. Got that. Alright. Let's see, where was it? Here it is. Um, machine frame. That'll be easy to make. Uh, redstone reception coil. Which is just golden redstone. Okay, I should really make another crafting table and put it closer to that. And yeah, maybe I will one of these days. Alright. So I'm going to need two copper now. Two copper, one redstone, and the machine frame. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Actually, it gave us one of those PRX dealies, right? Yeah, we'll just go ahead and use it. We need, uh, we need more plastic sheets. I think we can go ahead and just smelt that, though, and get plastic sheets out of it. Um, what else are we going to need? Two glass. Uh, one, two, three, four of those. We're going to need two more electrum. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way. All right. Very nice. Now we got to smelt up that rubber. There. Come on. There we go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cut here and uh, bring you guys back when this stuff is ready. All right, guys. Here we are. We are back. I went ahead and smelted that up. Um, smelted up the rubber, that is, and got our plastic sheets here. I switched out our spaghetti with uh, some chicken pot pies, just because it's a little more, it doesn't heal us, or it doesn't give us as much food, but um, I had already eaten the spaghetti quite a few times, so it wasn't uh, wasn't up to snuff, it wasn't giving us 100%, so I went ahead and switched it out, um, and now I believe we can go ahead and make this machine frame, so let's go ahead and do that, there we go, there's our machine frame. Now we should be able to finish this guy up. That, 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 those, and that. There we go. Redstone furnace. Nice. Um, all right. What do we need now? Energetic infuser. Energetic infuser. All right. So, leadstone energy cell frame. Another machine frame. So let's go ahead and get the machine frame going. We're gonna need two more electrum. Hope I hope I have two more in there. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. Gonna need to make some more of that just for machine frames. Uh do I have four invar? Yes I do. Four invar. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this last guy here. <clears throat> um gonna need some more redstone for that. Grab those. Oh, we're actually going to need more redstone, too, for the uh, energy cell frame thing. This guy, the redstone energy cell frame. But first, let's go ahead and craft this guy up. Boom, there we go. Um, glass. We should be able to do this. There's a machine frame. All right, let's see what the leadstone energy... Okay, so that's four glass, block of redstone, and lead. All right, block of redstone, lead, glass. There we go, leadstone energy cell frame. Okay, so now we need two transmission coils, which is silver and redstone. 
and then one more of those guys. Okay. Whoops. And there we go. We should be able to craft this guy up now. Uh, do no, I don't have copper. Okay. There we go. Now we should be able to craft it up. Let's check it. There we go. Nice. Energetic infuser. Okay, so what's next? The auto packager. I've never made one of those before. But here it is. Oh, that's easy. So we need three pistons, redstone reception coil. Okay. It's for the reception coil. Three pistons. Now oh, we're going to need some cobble. Do I have... I have cobble on me. And planks. Okay. Let's make up the pistons first. Of course, that's backwards. I always do it backwards first. For some reason. Uh, crafting table. This guy... Um, then four iron. Do I... Okay, I need more iron. One, two, three, four. There we go. Very nice. Now we should be able to auto-craft this guy. Boom, there we go. Alright, we finished that quest, and that's going to give us an Invar Battle Wrench, which is cool. Uh, impulse Item Duct, and two Pneumatic Servos. So, boom, let's claim that. And it looks like that opened up Advanced Machines. Let's check that one out. Oh, the Glacial Precipitator, already got that one done. Magma Crucible, and an Induction smelter. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, this is going to give us some interesting stuff. We have to choose one, though. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to do some thinking on that one. <laughs> Alright. Okay, let's see. What else can we do? Can we, can we still not do anything in here? Yeah, yeah. I wish I knew why that wasn't 100% completed. It just doesn't make sense. Hmm. All right, well, I think the next thing I, I kind of want to work on is either A, this guy here, the basic AE stuff, or B, this stuff, the assembly line, assembling circuit boards and whatnot. Hmm. But, I mean, that's going to have to wait until next episode, because I think this episode's been going on for quite a while. So, actually, I'm going to go ahead and call it there, you guys. But stay tuned for the next episode, and we will start working on that uh, pretty cool robot assembly line thing. So, yeah, I'm actually kind of looking forward to that. So, all right, guys. Um, I will talk to you later.